A penis is a penis. First and foremost, it has to be hard to make a woman happy. And in case you're wondering, getting snip has nothing to do with getting and staying hard. Honey, you're either hard or you're not at all. <laughs> Circumcision is widely practiced in the Philippines. It is viewed as a requirement among Filipino males. The origin of this tradition are unclear, yet it is an essential social aspect in the Filipino community and tradition. Real men get circumcised. In town across the country of Philippines, government and health workers convert classrooms, health centers, or sport complex into makeshift operating rooms where boys as young as nine take number and wait their turn. In the province, we call this one Tuli, where men needs to undergo cutting down there because they believe it is great when it comes to hygiene and love making. The pressure even manifests itself in the Tagalog language word for uncircumcised, which is a slur similar to coward. The term support implies that one is different and coward for lacking the courage to experience the pain and anxiety. According to the data of World Health Organization, around 90% of males are circumcised in the Philippines for the non-religious reason. Most Filipina would prefer circumcised penis by reason of religion, family belief, pressure, and bias opinion, and lack of knowledge. Given that you are a foreigner and you are into the journey of finding a Filipino wife, would it be a big turn off if you are not circumcised or it doesn't matter at all? On the first meeting, especially if that is their first time dating a different nationality and they are not really exposed to a different culture, a Filipina would be shocked because they always expect that the guy that they are dating is circumcised. The same with Filipino men. The truth is, if the Filipino women you are dating never been in other countries and not so exposed to a different culture, their mindset would be men are circumcised. I think it was two years ago when I actually heard about this. A Filipina prefer their partner to be circumcised, but there is an exemption. Why? What are the common reasons why a single snip down there is so, so important? Is getting snip has anything to do with getting and staying hard? Does it contribute with a level of wanting inside the bedroom? One notable reason from health professionals' perspective, male circumcision plays a role in maintaining penile hygiene and preventing various ailments, including infections and even cancer. Second, it has a long historical tradition and is considered an obligatory rite of passage for males. Those who have not undergone the ritual of circumcision are ridiculed and leveled as support by their peers, a ritual that is unnecessary but males are being forced to avoid being different. If I'm being us, I stress the importance of respecting individual preferences and point out the circumcision should not be imposed on those unwilling to undergo the procedure due to personal, cultural, or religious reason. A penis is a penis. First and foremost, it has to be hard to make a woman happy. And in case you're wondering, getting snip has nothing to do with getting and staying hard. Honey, you're either hard or you're not at all. Actually, it is the same. It is the feature that makes it more unique and challenging, and also it makes so different. A normal reaction would be shock or love when you are in bed together with a Filipina. But that doesn't mean she wants to offend you or something. Yes, in the Philippines, it's a symbol of manhood, but you can't believe it. A friend of mine literally shares how she likes the uncircumcised one. It is built different, she said. Growing up, I've always heard that men in the Philippines perform the best, but a friend literally spilled the tea that a foreigner makes really good impression towards her. Have you ever thought of finding a Filipina this year or in the future? But you have this feeling that you've got no chance at all. 
believe me, it's not too late. Filipino are known for being so flexible. They can adapt easily once their partner is not circumcised if that's the issue. It is not a big deal for majority of us who are interested to marry a foreigner. What I like about Filipina is having that respectful attitude towards their partner. So, how can you get one? I recommend Christian Filipina because it is the most trusted online dating service where singles who share similar traditional values can meet and connect. Why at Christian Filipina and why you should date a Filipina? At Christian Filipina, our dedicated team of Roman consultant is here to support you every step of the way on your search for love online. Available 24-7, they offer personalized guidance to help you communicate with Filipinas effectively. From conducting thorough background checks to ensure that the person you're talking to is genuine to providing tailored assistance and the team is committed to ensuring your kiss for real love ends at Christian Filipina. As a woman who wanted to meet someone online before meeting in person, I always believe that online dating always works as long as you know how to put an effort into the relationship. A lot of my friends have been successfully married by a foreigner through a Christian Filipina. What I love about my other co-Filipina is that they are very appreciative. And like some of their Western counterparts, they appreciate simple gestures of affection and don't require extravagant gifts to feel love. Other than that, Filipina are known as loyal, caring, supportive, and 100% devoted to their men. Going back with circumcision, let's say you're in a phase of getting to know each other and you thought about sighing, but still you keep it because you are afraid she might leave you. Would you be brave enough to say the truth to her? Or would you rather keep that one to yourself? If I am the woman, as your partner, I would like to hear every single things you keep within yourself. Majority of Filipina women wants an open and honest relationship. Okay, let's say you are confident and now you wanted to say what you feel. The moment you said it, it will be an awkward, especially if you are dating a province Filipina that has no experience dating a foreigner. Unless you are dating someone that has an experience or exposure dating a different nationality. In the Philippines, Sam would laugh at you because you are not circumcised. You would find yourselves sitting next to them, shutting your mouth off because the moment you talk, they might be a bully. Truth, but that is how they initiate men. So they say, once you're circumcised, you are a man already. So maybe if you'll encounter a Filipina and then she will ask you if you're circumcised or not, then just be frank and let's see if she could accept you or not. Maybe she will ask also why you're not undergoing this kind of procedure and maybe she's just afraid to ask. So you can just open up that one to her. Most Filipino would respect your decision that's actually showing or giving an educational background about your culture. So right now, let's ask a few Filipino women what do they prefer in a man, circumcised or uncircumcised, cut or uncut. I'm gonna ask Kayla if she prefer someone who is circumcised or uncircumcised, cut or uncut. So how about you, Kayla? What do you prefer? I choose a circumcised. Circumcised. Why circumcised? Because if not, it's hard to get pregnant. Exactly. So that's what you believe. Yes. Okay. So we call that one here actually, guys, atuli. So, yeah. Wakay tuli, wakay anak. <laughs> In some areas, kids will start to undergo circumcise at the early age of five or six. Nowadays, there are parents that want their newborn baby to be circumcised so that they would not undergo the pain when they grow up. My final thought about the topic is circumcised or uncircumcised isn't a big factor at all. For me, the most important is both of you are serious with your relationship and both of you can satisfy each other. An open communication beforehand might be beneficial to lessen the moment when two of you make love. 
educate her if needed. And that way, she will be able to learn different ways in your culture. And it will make relationships so successful. That's all what I got you for today, guys. Thank you so much for your love and support and for watching the whole video. And I'll see you again next time. And again, if you have any content suggestion, please don't forget to comment out there, like this video, share, and subscribe. And you can find the link of Christian Filipina through the description box and in the comment section. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.